Hey babes, I wanted to share with you a couple different products in my review. They are all empties, so I've used all of the product, so I feel like I do have an opinion on each of the products. It's not like I tried them once or twice, I was like, meh, I actually have an opinion on these bad boys. I have five products I'm going to review. The first product I'm going to review is the Mario Batsu Skincare. It's a facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I'm sure you guys have seen this by now. It really is a popular one. I have things I love about this and things that I wish were different, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you about them. I loved that it had the aloe and the rose water. I have dry skin and I feel like the aloe was super hydrating as well as um, the rose water, I know rose water helps reduce inflammation, so any redness or anything that I have, I think it really did help with. I didn't like this product as a setting spray. It says that you can use it as a makeup setting spray, and I feel like when I am looking for a makeup setting spray, I'm looking for something to hold my makeup in place, like give me hairspray for my makeup. I felt like this was more of a refreshing, hydrating mist rather than doing the job of locking my makeup. I think it does do the job of adding beneficial properties to your skincare routine. This one was two ounces of a sample. Their um, full size is eight ounces and that's $12. You can get it at Ulta. I've also seen it at Nordstrom Rack. I liked this little guy for in my purse during the hot summer months. It was nice just to be like, ah, and kind of give myself like a refreshing spray. I will definitely be repurchasing this product. Like I said, once I realized it wasn't great for a setting spray, I was like, oh, use it this way and use a different product for a setting spray. So that's just my opinion on this. If you have an opinion yourself, I'd love to hear it, how it worked, if you loved the aloe, if you loved the rose water and how they did with your skin. So let me know about this one. I would give this one a four out of five. Next, I have... Oh, I just love this. This is the Unwrap Me Beauty Rush Whipped Cream and Winter Pear Body Drink Lotion by Victoria's Secret. Um, they no longer continue to carry this scent, I don't believe. I think I got this at a semi-annual sale or something like that. I wish this was in like a full size with a pump rather than just like a squeeze bottle because I flew through this. Size, this is the 6.7 ounces from Victoria's Secret. I think these are $18 right now. Just this scent isn't available. This stuff smells literally just so sweet and sugary and warm and like icing kind of. I don't know. It's everything you think warm sugary things should be. Whipped cream is probably a good description. I really liked this because it was non-greasy and it wasn't very oily. It wasn't one of those things that you put on and all of a sudden you're like, ew, I feel kind of gross. It was super duper moisturizing. I am so bummed. I give this a five out of five and I would totally rebuy it, but I can't, so I'm bummed out about it. Um, the next product I have is from Sephora. It's Sephora brand. I typically don't purchase Sephora brands or Ulta brand too much anymore, but this is a product that I do purchase from them and I think it works great. It is their daily brush cleaner. See, I told you, I've used all of this, completely empty. Um, a couple of things that I like about this, one, it tells you on here, do not spray this directly onto your brush. It tells you to spray it on the paper and then go ahead and wipe your brush. It also gives you a really good pointer here and it tells you how to wash it for natural hair brushes versus synthetic brushes. This had a really, really like refreshing scent. Um, it uses, I believe, grapefruit and lemon. And then they also use tea tree, which I love about this product because it's a natural antimicrobial and a natural antifungal. So that's great for when you're sanitizing your kit and your product. If you're using a professional kit and you're using makeup on other people, I would not use just this as your cleansing step. I think this is great for like quickly cleaning out color and moving on to something different, but I would not use this as your number one like sanitizing step for your makeup brushes. You need to use like a deep conditioning shampooing stuff for that. 
but that's just if you're using professional makeup. If you're using this at home, which I would totally recommend, I think it's great. It's quick drying and it's alcohol free, so it's not going to dry the natural hair fibers on your brush. Definitely will be rebuying this one. This one for me, I would say is a four out of five. This is a six ounce bottle and it is $15. I think that is a pretty good deal. I'm also trying out a couple different ones. I will let you know how it is in comparison, but right now I would totally repurchase it. The next product I want to talk to you about is the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen in Waterproof. This guy, I got this in an Ipsy and I vividly remember it because I was like, ooh, tattoo liner, and it, or um, tattoo liner. Sorry, Kat Von D. You've ruined me. I saw this and I was like, perfect, a wing liner pen. And I really liked it because it was felt. And I haven't used this in a straight minute, so it's probably dry. You know what I mean? There we go. But it's just, it's not consistent. Do you see how it's not consistent? Like, I can't have that inconsistency. I'm trying to do a wing liner. This product was a miss for me. It was definitely not something I enjoyed. I'll try to do it to show you. See, it's like not even barely working. Yeah, no. I also feel like it has a really sticky formula. And so when I would open my eyes, a lot of time I would get this like wing liner shape right here in my crease. Also, once it did dry throughout the day, it would start to like flake off my skin, even when I would use an eyeshadow primer. I feel like there's just so many other superior products out there than this. This one is $2.99, and I think that if you are just trying to learn makeup, maybe on a budget, no, don't buy this, don't do that. I can't, e I can't even suggest this. There's other products out there that are better. I'm glad I got to try it. I am pretty new to trying this brand. It's not something that I have several, several products of, but for this, I would give this like a two out of five and I won't be repurchasing it. Um, the next one I have to show you, this Mad Lash Black Mascara. I got this maybe Ipsy, maybe Sephora, mm, Ipsy. I got this in an Ipsy and I really enjoy testing out different mini mascaras. I love mascara in the sample sizes specifically because they're formulated a little differently and they don't dry out because it's not like a full tube you're trying to work through. It's a small tube. This, I'm just going to show you the wand. I don't like the little mini like nubbies. Also this wand is like super duper hard. Like it's really uncomfortable and pokey. And it has this little like knob on the tip of it you can see that you're supposed to like do under your lashes with this thing I poked myself in the eye with this one time trying to do that and use the little nubby guy the wand is so stinking hard that I literally poked myself in the eye immediately shut it's one of those ones where you're like I definitely like am blind like I'm for certain I'm blind my eye was watering everywhere it was just it was just not a good experience also, I feel like this formulation dried kind of clumpy and then flaky and would fall underneath my eye down here. And then when you go to move it, it like kind of like squishes into your concealer and then you just look like you have a black eye. I'm not a really, really big fan of this. Maybe you've used it. I know people either like the tight mascara wands or they like the big full bushy ones. That's personally my preference. So maybe that's why this product didn't work for me. It's $18. Get the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Like, spend the extra five bucks, it's got an amazing wand, it won't poke you in the eye, and the formulation's not stiff and weird and all the fibers fall. So, that's my opinion on this product by Mad Lash. It's from The Balm, that's who creates this. But like I said, let me know if it's a product that you like or you don't like. I would give this one maybe a three out of five with a no repurchase. I hope you guys learned some information about some products today that maybe you hadn't known about. And I hope to learn from you some things on these products that maybe I haven't known about. So go ahead and share with me anything on these products that you guys know. And I will see you in the next video.